The camper van I have in front of me is a La Strada H Plus. As you can see, it's on a Fiat Ducato base, front wheel drive. Of course, if you wanted a four wheel drive, that's also possible. That comes on a Citroen, but that comes only in left hand drive. It's called a Plus because it's 37 centimeters longer than the, the H1 without the Plus. And so this is on a 636 centimeter long Fiat Ducato. Let's now have a look uh, at it and uh, at the end I'll show you why it's a plus. So this is the uh, La Strada manufacturing plant. It's a um, place called Excel. Um, it is near I don't think what's near, if you know, Gießen. So it's to the um, east of Frankfurt, it's about 35 40 kilometers to the east of Frankfurt. Right, so uh, having had a little bit of a walk around, first thing we've got here, immediately here on the left, we have the gas cupboard. There you go, two bottles in there. Here we have the step. So you didn't see that, yeah, it's going in. I'll do it again, okay, it's coming out now. Another thing we've got here, we've got a double floor, double floor in a camper van. And uh, now the carpet's down at the moment, the carpet's there because they w we'll want to sell this to somebody eventually. So uh, it'll stay as long as that, but the carpet does come up, you see, as you can see like that. Maybe you'd want to keep the carpet there, I don't know, I mean, if you, if you had something like this. But one thing, under the carpet, you see that? You've got storage. Heated storage as well, so that means uh, you can have heated underfloor as well. So that's, uh, I think that's pretty positive. And a little bit of extra storage always is a good thing, but a uh, problem with a bit of extra storage is that it's taking away head height. And bear in mind this is a camper van, not a motorhome, which can be built up and up and up. The camper van hasn't had a, an extra bit put on the roof. So this is the highest we're going to get. And up there, we've got the bed. So what we're now going to do is I'm going to stand up here. There's me. So that's me. I'm standing up. I'm 1 meter 75 and the bed is above me. So okay, right, so there's about 1 meter 78 of clearance, something like that. Something like that. Right, let's come right to now to the back and I'll work, work, work my way forward. So, rear wet room, which has the benefit of all this space inside. Now they use these doors, which I think is uh, I think it's unique, I'm not absolutely certain. There's another company, I think, that maybe um, CS Reisemobile from Hamburg use them as well, but uh, it's almost unique anyway. And when they close, I'll try and do this here, here because there's a, there's a magnet up there. See the magnet? And we'll do this. All right, see here, the, you can get the idea of the strength of the magnet, okay? <laughs> like that. And I'll close this one as well. You can, of course, uh, lock it down here as well, should you want to. There it is, there's somewhere. And you've got all this space in here, in the, in the washroom. Shower there, and uh, it's, it's pretty high, because look, I'm, I'm already standing on a step and I've got all this much clearance. But if I come down, step down here, I've, I've got even more clear, uh, room. little bit of storage. Right, so I'll open this up again. Okay, wardrobe here. Wardrobe here. 
potentially, I suppose, you, know, you put the shel shelves in, space for extra shelves. Obviously you've got this as you get if you bought it from a furniture shop as well, you've got this place, these things here, you can put the shelves where you want. This one here has got an unusually large fridge for a Lestrade. I think this is the biggest one they do. I think it's 170 litres. But, but, and this is, this is the good bit for the long term user on a van. Look at all this space here uh, for storage. Got these things down. It might look a bit like a filing cabinet, but you know, something like this is, it, it's very useful. Also, they've got uh, proper walls on them. They've also put a bin in here. Oh, what's in there? I want, to, I want to put the bin in there. Comes out, put it somewhere else. I think that's probably where I keep my clothes. Right, beds up here. It's got the frolly system in it. Comes down, you can see the moment though, it's not a huge, it's up at its maximum, okay. You can leave a sheet on, but you're not gonna leave your, your blankets on or anything like that. And that will drop down to here, roughly. And, not roughly, absolutely. And then uh, you can pull yourself into the bed. Now the advantage of this, obviously it gives all of this space in, uh, all of this storage possibilities in a comparatively small footprint. Okay, coming up front, got a large table which can be extended even further. Seats, these ones seats are from Aguti. And, I shall point out, you've got the seat belt is built into the chair itself and the advantage of that is uh, for with bed production so you don't have this extra pillar which is uh, here so that's uh, it's part to do with that structure another thing I'd have to point out I think is with the chairs they're pretty robust now if you're looking for really soft chairs this probably isn't the sort of thing for you but uh, I can feel when I'm sitting in this I've got support and all the rest of it. personally I like uh, the chair to be pretty uh, hard Maybe not too hard. I don't want to sit on concrete, for example. Uh, but um, I like it. I like the feel of being supported, and I certainly get that uh, impression in this. Right. If we have a look at the kitchen, you've got three burners there, and little sink here. Little being the operative word. There's your um, uh, electrics. Chumi uh, Chuma four. Uh, four kilowatts of um, uh, energy is putting out here. I've got the extension to the uh, the kitchen. Sorry, that comes out, give me a little bit extra space. Uh, all uh, La Strada vans, I think, have that type of uh, extension on it. And here I've got a large. large drawer. No drawer below here because the gas is on the other side. Have no, look at all. Yeah, well, that's, that's quite magnificent, I think, all that storage. Oh, and here you got a little slide, slide thing. So I think as far as practicality goes in a camper van, this really uh, does have a lot to say for itself. Oh, another thing it's got, we can't see it at the moment because the bed's up, but under the bed, above the bed I should say, there's another roof light. This vehicle was introduced in January 2019, I think. The first one was introduced in January 2017. So you can see that in another film. But okay, so to start, uh, or to finish really, uh, what can you do with 37 
centimeters. Well, the extra 37 centimeters between the, the plus and the, uh, the standard one is to give all of this extra space at the back of the van. Now, what you can do with it, start off with, you've got these shelves, but the shelves will move. They can go up like that. And if you put them up like that, for example, you can get these hooks and you can uh, you put a bicycle up there, for example. Um, up there you've got a space for clothing, so if you out outer clothing when you come in, for, you could uh, you could leave it up there, or maybe you stuff that you only w you use when you go out, or something like that. You've also you get an idea of here of the size of the double floor. Now the double floor, bearing in mind this is a camper van. I mean, obviously you don't expect me again a car to go or a Heimer or something like that, a motorhome. But uh, there is a double floor, which I think. Uh, I think it's pretty good. Also got a bit more, a bit more storage there as well. Oh, and that's for the awning. There's the awning, Fiamma awning. Uh, something like this new will cost from around sixty-one thousand something euros. Uh, something like that. I mean the starting price, I mean it doesn't really mean anything because Sorry, the starting price is a good place to start off with, but the price doesn't mean anything Because y you'd probably will start wanting all sorts of extras as well, which is uh, quite normal The color combinations of the interior furnishings are uh, well, it's about 100 and 105 I think they've got of them, so if people buy the things new, there's a huge amount of choice. Oh, from up here also you can see the uh, the extra roof light, so you've got the, the large roof light which we, we saw, but the ones over the bed is now visible. They've also, in this case, it comes with an uh, optional uh, solar panel. So, right, so I hope that that uh, was of interest. Uh, um, if so, I hope that uh, if you're not already a subscriber, I hope you will subscribe and uh, if you find this sort of thing useful, then please do consider giving me some support on Patreon. Thanks for watching.